So we're just going to go through some more limit examples in this video. Um, let's start with some uh, limits of non-continuous functions. So say we have um, the limit of maybe x squared, x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. And we want to find uh, the limit as, say, x goes to 3. Right, so what is this equal to? Well, look at, if we look at this, we know that um, as x goes to 3, so at 3, um, 3 minus 3 is 0, so we're dividing this by 0. So we know that this function does not exist at 3. It's discontinuous at 3. So what we want to do is we want to rearrange this, and we'll make this into an easier function. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 3 of... We can expand this out. This is going to be x minus 3 um, times x plus 3. And this is over x minus 3. And we can see we can cancel this out with the top. And we get the limit as x goes to 3. Here, let's write this down. The limit as x goes to 3 of x plus 3 x plus 3. And now this is just really simple. Now at this point um, we can substitute in values uh, that are a little bit bigger than 3 and a little bit smaller than 3. So let's put in maybe 2.999 plus 3. That's going to be equal to 5.999. And if we had 3.001 plus 3 it's going to be equal to 6.001. So the limit, the limit is equal to 6. So let's do another discontinuous function. Uh, let's have the limit as x goes to 0. x goes to 0. Uh, let's say x squared minus 2x over, uh, let's say, 4x. So we know that if x is 0, uh, 4 times 0, we're going to be dividing by 0. So we know that this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0. So we'll rearrange because um, if we put in 0 right now, we're not going to. It's not going to. We're not going to be able to solve this. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0. Uh, it's important to keep this in front of the function up until the point where you actually substitute in uh, these close approximations. So we'll just keep this, we'll keep this notation with us for now. Uh, we can pull out an x on the top and we get x times x minus 2. This is going to be all over 4x. We can cancel out this x with this x and we get the limit, yeah, it's like this, the limit again as x goes to 0. This is now of um, x minus 2 over 4. So now we'll just go off to the side here and we'll substitute in values that are really close to zero from both sides. So let's put in negative 0 0.001 minus 2. That's going to be equal to negative 2.001. And if we have positive 0 0.001 minus 2, this is going to be equal to negative 1.001. 9, 9, 9. And sorry, these are both, uh, these are both divided by 4. So we're getting numbers that are really close to uh, negative 2 fourths, or the same as negative 1 half. So our limit here is equal to negative 1 half. Alright, so now let's do a limit that actually goes, uh, that has x that goes to infinity. Limit as x goes to infinity, and let's keep it simple, let's say of 1 over x. Okay, so now um, you guys know that this graph looks like, I'll just draw it over here, um, roughly looks something like this, it's like that, and it goes something like that. So what we want to find out is as x is getting larger and larger, what is f of x getting closer to? Well, let's look at this. It looks like it's getting closer to 0, so if we just plug in some numbers, um, do a little thought bubble up here. If we put 1 over 
let's say 1 over 1,000, that's going to be equal to 0 0.001. Um, if we put 1 over 10,000, 1, 2, 3, that's going to be equal to 0 0.0001. And so these numbers, as we put in bigger and bigger numbers into x, um, we're getting our f of x value that's closer and closer to 0. So the limit of 1 over x as x goes to infinity is 0. Now the same thing, um, if we put as x goes to, here, I'll write it down here, uh, if we wrote the limit of as x goes to negative infinity of 1 over x, you can see too that if we put in 1 over negative 10,000, we would get negative 0 0.001. And if we put 1 over negative 10,000, we would get negative 0 0.0001. And you can see on the graph, too, that this would just get closer and closer to 0. So this would also be 0. Now, um, if you look at here, if we, want, um, if we wanted to find the limit of this function, this is, again, this is y is equal to 1 over x. If we want to find the limit as this function goes to 0, um, we're seeing something happening here. If you come in from the right side, it's going up to positive infinity. And if you come in from the left side, it's going down to negative infinity. So now I'm just going to leave that here now, and we're going to go to the next video, and I'll explain functions where the limits don't exist. So if you just click here, click here, uh, yeah, just click this box and I'll take you to the next video and we will talk about functions where there's limits that don't exist.